so uh, today uh, we will perform the experiment the objective of the experiment is to uh, draw the vi characteristic of a pn junction diode and to study the voltage regulation and characteristics of a zener diode so you know you, you have already read about it for the what is the vi characteristics of a pn junction diode we will uh, will study the vi characteristic of pn junction diode in the forward bias only not in the reverse bias and then we will try to uh, see the voltage regulation characteristics of the zener diode so apparatus what we need is a pn junction diode okay so how uh, pn junction diode you can see this this is this is my pn junction diode one one is you can see and the representation of this pn junction diode is like this this part this arrow part is known as the p type and this line is known as the n type so this line and arrow is if you if will compare with it is uh, like this the whole black one is if you see the whole black one is the arrow and this is the gray line is is the line so this is uh, how you represent a pn junction diode this the whole black one is the arrow and this one is this gray line is the line so the black part is the arrow so p type and this is the n type so you can see that this is p type and this gray one is the n type this is my pn junction diode okay so uh, so this is i need a pn junction diode a low voltage power supply so we have a low voltage power supply is here 0 to 30 volt we have a low voltage power supply and then we need uh, a zener diode a zener diode is the representation of the zener diode is like this uh, this is pn junction diode this is zener diode this line is now like this so you can see the zener diode is slightly different in uh, looks than this uh, pn junction diode this is so here also this is a p type and this is the n type okay so this is p type and this is n type here because this is in, in reverse mode like when in circuit we will we will put it like p type and n type and in for the zener diode will this p type and this is for n type so now here this is p type and this is n type and here this is p type and this is n type so this is my zener diode and this is my pn junction diode and the second thing we need a milli ammeter this is milli ammeter we need uh, uh, dc milli ammeter we need 0 to 50 uh, uh, milli ampere of range so the power supply we need a dc power supply uh, and then uh, we have a multimeter this is my multimeter uh, you know what is a multimeter and this i need a high resistance box so we will need a resistance box uh, this is my resistance box you already know what is a resistance box and some connecting wires to do the things so now let us uh, move to uh, have how to connect the circuit for the vi characteristics of a pn junction diode so the circuit is very simple this is my pn junction diode and we have a resistance across this so uh, this is a power supply and then we have a milli uh, milli uh, ampere here and this all so this is all in series so we have you can see this is uh, this resistance is this resistance is here then we have a pn junction diode is here then we have resistance then we have pn junction diode then we will attach a milliammeter plus minus so this is resistance we have pn junction diode milliammeter and there he will we will supply the input dc voltage so this is the dc voltage and then here across this we will find out the forward voltage output so here we will we will measure the forward voltage output so what we will do we will uh, connect uh, this uh, let me have a wire some wires so we will connect this we have a negative and positive terminal we have negative and positive terminal for the milliampere so we will we will connect uh, positive to the positive of the milliampere and then negative of the milliampere to the negative of the milliampere and then we have a positive and negative terminal of the power supply the so positive one we will apply to this positive one and this this negative this black one we will uh, to the uh, negative terminal 
so the circuit is complete because all this is connected from inside so what we have to take the output only the output and this uh, milliampere we have to read uh, the current in the milliampere so this current will be the forward current and the voltage uh, will will measure it will be the forward voltage and uh, so the table of observation is uh, to study the VA characteristics of pn junction diode is like the so forward we have to measure the forward voltage across the pn junction diode forward voltage this is this is my pn junction and we will measure the forward voltage across this pn junction diode and then the, we will measure the corresponding uh, forward current uh, through the milliampere so the forward voltage and the forward current so what we will do uh, when when we will we will uh, vary this dc supply this input voltage then using this input voltage we can we can uh, restrict our this uh, uh, forward voltage and then corresponding uh, forward current so we will we will like to vary uh, the voltage and the milliampere and then we will note it down so uh, let us on the power supply so uh, initially it is zero zero okay it is at zero zero and then you can see there is no no forward cur uh, current is here okay so we will measure this uh, forward voltage using using our multimeter so this is this is the common part this is uh, this voltage from voltage we can measure from voltage here and then if you want to current then we can measure current from here so I'll on this milliammeter so we can see I'll put it here and then we have connections let me do this we have common common is the green one so green we will put in the common and this this red one is this uh, this goes to the voltage so we'll put it here in the positive terminal okay so now uh, so you can see uh, this is zero zero this is zero zero and we have everything is zero zero now what I will do what I will do is I will vary uh, the DC voltage so that uh, the current uh, varies like 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere or 2 4 6 sort of thing uh, and then the corresponding we will measure what is uh, the forward voltage here okay so for example uh, if you see I'm going to vary this uh, keep a track on this that I, I, I have to make it like 2 milliampere so if I make it like let's see it's a, if it is 1 milliampere this is 1 milliampere okay then what is the value of the forward voltage here this is point five five so I will note that at point five five the milliampere forward current is one milliampere here it is point five nine in our case is coming out to be point five five and this forward current is one volt one milliampere then now we'll make it two milliampere by varying this uh, course so you can see that I'll make it two milliampere okay so now you can see this forward voltage is 0.57 so for the 2 milliampere I will write 0.57 so similarly we can make it forward like, like I'll make it like 2 4 6 8 like this is 8 milliampere okay okay now this is 4 and this is 5 and this is 6 so this is 6 milliampere the corresponding forward voltage is 0 0.61 0 0.60 so this for the 6 I will write this is 0 0.68 our C is 0 0.61 and similarly we will keep on increasing uh, this uh, milliampere current make it 10 will make it 10 so for 10 this is 0 0.63 that I'll note for 10 milliampere this is 0 0.70 in our case this is 0 0.63 so similarly we'll keep on increasing this but uh, keep in mind that we, we do not have to increase this input voltage more than the 30 volt so this is already 19 so you keep a tra track on this that it doesn't go beyond 30 volt and before that we have to vary the milliampere we keep on varying the milliampere and using using uh, this input voltage and note that the corresponding forward voltage here 
and write down the observation on this table okay so this is the variation and this variation comes from uh, when we put when we vary the input dc supply and so this variation comes and the corresponding uh, forward current we note down so this is how we do okay keeping in mind that we do not have to increase beyond the 30 volt keep try to keep it within the 30 volts and whatever the uh, forward current comes here and the corresponding forward voltage you note down here once you do do this uh, you are completed with this so we have forward voltage and we have the forward current then what we have to do is we have to plot this forward voltage and current uh, on this like you can see we have a forward uh, uh, current on the y axis and the forward voltage on the x axis so try to plot the forward current and the forward voltage uh, you see the graphs goes like this the curve goes like this and then from here it suddenly increases and then you put a tangent on the increasing this uh, where it increases you put a tangent and where this tangent cuts down the value this value is going to give you the knee voltage of this particular pn junction diode so because the diode which i am using is a silicon so the knee voltage has to be around 0.7 so this is coming out to be 0.67 already okay so i have to take uh, this forward voltage forward current and then i have to plot the forward current on the y axis forward voltage on the x axis and then we get a curve like this we put a tangent here and then the tangent where it cuts on the x axis this forward voltage gives us the new voltage of the uh, pn junction diode okay so this is the forward characteristics uh, vi characteristics of our pn junction diode okay now if this is a very simple part of the pn junction diode let's do uh, for uh, the voltage regulation part of uh, the zener diode in order to study the voltage regulation of voltage regulation characteristics of the zener diode the circuit we are going to use is again a very simple circuit we have input voltage here dc voltage supply we have a resistance and then the this is my zener diode and we have a variable load resistance this is a variable load resistance so because uh, we know that uh, a zener diode is, is a reverse bias heavily doped uh, silicon or germanium pn junction diode this is uh, which is uh, basically operated in the breakdown region where the current is limited by both the resistance and the power dissipation of the diode and uh, this uh, we know that for proper working of the zener diode this one uh, in any circuit is, a, is, is it is essential that it must be uh, 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 connected in a reverse bias and one must have a voltage across is across is the greater than the vz okay so uh, basically this is therefore this is connected because this is plus this is minus this is n type and this is p type so this is connected in a reverse reverse bias mode this was this normal pn was connected in the forward bias mode with p and n p connected to positive but this is where n is connected to the positive because the zener diode is is uh, working uh, uh, by reverse bias mode so this circuit is we have input voltage we have input voltage here then we have a resistance we have a resistance and then this zener diode and then resistance we have then zener diode and then we have a load resistance here then we have a load resistance here variable and then we will take the v output v output from here so you know this is my power supply dc power supply from here we have given this plus minus plus minus here this input and then we have this this load resistance this load resistance is given by this uh, a resistance box okay use it before using this make it sure that all the keys are tight tight not to be loosed and then we we will take the output using the multimeter uh, from positive negative and this common and this voltage this voltage part okay so i'm uh, keeping it on, on dc 20 volt range okay now what I have to do is uh, the procedure is like this that uh, 
let's go to the observation table so observation table what we have to take is we will fi first fix the v input 15 volt so this this v input will make it 15 volt so I'll on it and then this is like i have already made it 15 volt by using this so this input supply is of the 15 volt so when i put this input supply 50 volt now what i have to do is i have to introduce the load resistance this this load resistance which is variable using this resistance box i will keep on introducing the resistance and then i'll have to note the corresponding output voltage the corresponding output voltage using the multimeter so for example the input voltage is fixed to 15 volt i'm going to take out this 100 100 ohm okay so now you can see that that output voltage is 2.60 so you can note for 100 this is 2.50 in our case this is 2.60 now let let us make it 200 so this is i'm putting 100 back so this is my 200 i will make 200 now you can see the output is 4.37 so i'll i'll make it 200 it is 4.37 similarly i'll make it like uh, make it like 600 so this is uh, i'll put 200 this is my 500 and 100 so this this becomes 6.41 so for 600 this becomes 6.41 this is 5.91 so in the same way you can see that after doing this if you keep on increasing uh, uh, the load resistance you can see that the output voltage is ultimately becoming constant this is 2. Point, start from 2.50 it ultimately become constant 5.94959596969696 so when when you reach at this position uh, your observation is complete so what you have to do fix the input voltage to the 15 volt and then what you have to do introduce this load resistance using this 100 200 300 400 500 and note down the output voltage using this multimeter and then this when this output voltage is becomes constant you stop and the same thing you have to do for the another observation in, in the another observation what you have to do is in place of 15 volt you have you keep now the input voltage 25 volt so this is 15 volt now you make it 25 volt make it 25 volt now you can see the output voltage at 500 and 1 600 is 6.59 so like 600 this is 5 point in our case this is 6.60 this is 6.01 so similarly for this 25 volt keep on increasing start from 100 200 300 400 note down the output voltage and in this case also you will see that ultimately the output voltage become constant 6.00 three four 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 five 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 is keep constant so uh, when when you you get this that the output voltage is getting constant you stop taking the observation so this is what you have to uh, ob take the observation from this uh, hmm. Zener diode and when you are done with this uh, what you have to do you have to plot this output output voltage on the y-axis and the load resistance on the x-axis you can see that uh, here that when you plot output V output on this X axis and this load resistance on the Y axis you get the two curves this is this one is you it's increasing at you can see that it's increasing and there's almost constant so this is increasing and becomes constant similarly for V is equal to 15 volt and V is equal to 25 volt so what you have to find out from this this observe this curve that at what load resistance the voltage output becomes constant for this zener diode so this is you can see this is uh, for in case of here in case of this 25 volt you can see this from here it becomes constant that is 300 or around 350 in case of this 15 volt you can see it, it becomes constant around like 500 or you can see 450 so this this uh, this load resistance you can calculate from this curve that at what after what load resistance the voltage output for this particular zener diode becomes constant so this is what we need to know that because the zener diode are commonly used as a voltage regulator okay 
So voltage reg uh, regulation is a measure of the ability of the circuit to maintain a constant output voltage, even when either the input uh, voltage or the load current varies. So that's why that's why this this gives you that at what load uh, uh, the voltage after what load the volt uh, the output voltage becomes constant uh, depending on whatever whatever the uh, load is there and uh, the input voltage is there. Okay, so this is what about uh, all about the voltage regulation and the forward current uh, forward bias p n junction v i characteristic. So you can write all this in result that the measure of the value from the graph of the knee voltage v k for the given p n junction diode from the forward voltage forward uh, bias v i characteristics is this much, and for the given zener diode, the constant voltage may be obtained for the value of resistance r l, or this for this case. Uh, more than 400 for the other case this is depending upon what you get on your observation okay so this is what we have to perform in this uh, uh, small experiment where we study that the VA characteristics of PN junction diode and the voltage regulation characteristics of a Zener diode thank you